Hi, I'm Jeremy from Tech Central at the Osceola Library System. In these videos, I'm going to go over the basics of photo manipulation and compositing. This is Tech Tips from Tech Central. In this video, we'll go over some non destructive edits and use the spot healing brush to make edits that people will commonly request. I like to work non destructively which allows me to start fresh if I don't like something that I did. So we'll be working on a separate layer for our corrections. Add a new layer by clicking on the Add Layer icon here. The new layer is kind of like a clear page on top of our original image. Select the new layer, then double click the name and rename it something like Healing Corrections. I'm not always great about this, but keeping organized is important and renaming them is a tremendous help. Now find the spot healing brush here. Change this option to sample all layers so we can work from that empty layer we created before. You can change the size of your brush with the bracket keys next to the letter P on your keyboard. Play around with this brush and get a feel for how it works. Often people will want things like blemishes or wrinkles removed from their portraits. I don't think he needs it, but I'll demonstrate how to remove things like that. It might not look very natural, but it's possible. And sometimes it does look natural. Keep using the spot healing brush until you're happy with the results. There are also more healing tools nested within the spot healing brush. The patch tool lets you sample another area, then the AI uses the surrounding image to decide how the area should be colored and shaded. The Healing Brush tool is similar to the Clone Stamp, except it also uses the AI Content Aware feature that both the Spot Healing Brush and the Patch tool use to intelligently decide how to color and shade the area that's being replaced. Make sure that All Layers is turned on, and then hold Alt or Option on a Mac, and click on an area to sample from that spot. I can use the Healing Brush to give him a third eye, then I can use the outside of the shaded eye to change the corner and it samples the colors around to make it match the lighting. I wonder what happens when I use the spot healing brush on his eyes and mouth. Oh, no, no, I don't like that. Let's use Control or Command Z to undo that. Use all of these tools in harmony to get your desired results. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you can see more helpful tech tips from Tech Central.